I started when I was 34. And that, for me, was, was the time to start because technology had reached a point where we knew enough to start doing something about it. But if, if I had this knowledge now, uh, that I have now when I was in my 20s, I probably would have started earlier. Um, but I agree with you. I think teenage years and early 20s, probably not. Um, late 20s, for sure. I mean, here's what I do. Let, let's start with what I would do. If I was born again, I would say, all right, I'm, now I'm 20, I'm going to look after my health, keep my weight optimal, and I'm going to work out at the gym or do Pilates and start doing some aerobic exercise. That's the minimum. I would love to have started a, a healthier diet when I was younger. I think most 20-year-olds don't care what they eat, most of them, not all. And I was one of those people. I would just eat pizza and it, and it was fine. Um, then in my late 20s, I started putting on uh, weight and um, even though I was eating the same thing. So I stopped eating breakfast. And he started when he was in his late 60s. And so the good news about his um, anecdote, uh, his story, his experience is that uh, it seemed to really help him. He was, even in his late 60s, pretty lethargic, not very optimistic, not looking forward to, the, to his 70s. He retired and was pretty bored. Uh, and he, he went on resveratrol and felt an immediate benefit. Um, that's his uh, feeling about it. And we noticed it in him as well. Then in his 70s, he started just get fitter and fitter and he did more exercise. Um, and then in his mid to late 70s, he went on NMN. Um, he started eating less often, not, eat, not less, but less often. And uh, that combination, he's now, when you, if you saw him, Andrew, you'd say, um, this guy doesn't sound like an 82-year-old. He's just like talking to a, a 30 or 40-year-old um, mentally, physically. He's got no no ailments, no diseases, no lethargy. Uh, he can he can run, do anything he wants. And he's now looking forward to the next 20 years of life. And he started a new career and he's got a huge social life. And, uh, and so he, we actually literally will never know if what I just told you is working for him. Um, but I can tell you that, that our family doesn't live a long time. We tend not to be that healthy. We have high cholesterol and tendency towards obesity and, and bad Ashkenazi uh, genes from Hungary on his side. Um, and he's outliving all of our relatives and his friends at this point. So it's, it's pointing in the right direction. And if nothing else, he's a beacon of hope for all of us.